uh, talk about what happened there towards the end when Jarkel kind of took the game over? I mean, what was it that allowed him to kind of go into the zone that he went into and whatever adjustments, changes needed to be made, that weren't made after that stretch of the game? Well, you, you've got to compliment him. You know, he you know stepped up in the second half and had 20 points and um, he just got into a really nice rhythm. Uh, not just being able to um, attack the basket, I felt like he hit some really tough shots, contested two, step back threes. And, you know, at the end of the day, your big time players have to step up. I think the shots that he took and the shots that he made in the second half, I feel like we had the same, if not better shots, and ours didn't go in. And so, um, you know, in the second half, we had a, I think a six point lead, a little bit under 10 minutes to go. We had three straight possessions where we could have extended that lead. We missed a layup, had two turnovers that allowed them to catch up and tie the game or take a one point game. And, you know, we just didn't play well down the stretch. That stress that you're talking about, what were some of the other factors in there? And you guys have been in situations where you've not closed as well as you would like. So what, what is the, the consistent issue there? Well, you know, I, I, don't, I don't necessarily just focus on the last, you know, part of the game, the last six minutes. Uh, you know, what I'm referencing in terms of like, you know, like the little, you know, that mean a lot, the discipline and the details. I'm talking about the entire game. So like in the first half, you know, one of the things consistently that we've done really well this year is limit teams to one shot every possession, but we gave them um, offensive rebounds in the first half. We talked about taking care of the basketball in the first matchup. We only had seven turnovers against them, which is huge. Um, we turned the ball over in the first half. We ended up with 13. So every time I felt like we turned the ball over, it was like a pick six. So anytime that we have a recipe of more turnovers than assists, that's just hasn't been good news for us. And so I don't, um, yeah, down the stretch, we didn't play well enough to win, but I, f I felt like throughout the course of the game, we could have done the important little things that could have put us in a position to not just be down one at halftime and not just be up six with a little bit more than nine minutes to go in the game. You always said that you want your team to respond and get back up after being knocked down, but mm -hmm. yeah. how do you change the message when it's clearly not working at its maximum because the results aren't Well, I disagree with you. I, don't, I, I disagree with you from the standpoint that it's not working. I do. Um, sometimes it doesn't come when you want it, where you want it, how you want it, in the manner in which you want it, at the time that you want it. Um, that's life. And so what the key is, is to understand and to continue to get back up and continue to fight. That's what Carolina has always been about. That's what this team has always been about. and. Um, it's not even a choice. That's the only direction that you can go. And so just because you don't get what you want right when you want it and right when you think you should have it, that, that doesn't stop you from doing the good things to put yourself in a position to be successful. And so um, I disagree from the standpoint, I know where you're coming from, but I disagree that it's not working. We don't know if it's not working. You got to keep getting back up and keep trying. It's not working when you quit. Yeah, but for the most part, were you were you satisfied with the shot selections that you guys got? Like once it got tied at sixty in that kind of crucial stretch. I did. I need to look back at it. I you know I know that um, I know that we had some good looks from the guards um, from the outside. I know that we were attacking the basket and um, trying to score, trying to get contact, trying to get to the free throw line. I felt like. You know, in terms of execution, we got the ball to the guys that we wanted to get the ball to. Um, but we just didn't make the shots. And um, when we missed, they came down and they got the shots that they wanted and they made them. Coach, I think you were talking earlier how you guys had 13 turnovers. You only forced one of your own. 
What are ways, or what can you do defensively to sort of open up those fast break buckets for you guys on the offensive end? Yeah, you know, we tried to, you know, um, dead ball situations, full court. You know, we picked up full court and, you know, got into our press and tried to create some steals and deflections and turnovers. You know, one of the things for NC State, they have multiple ball handlers. So if you take it away from one, there's, you know, two or three other guys that can handle the basketball and get their team into their offense. So, you know, we definitely tried, you know, to get some extra possessions. There's a number of ways to get extra shots. You know, you can get, obviously get steals, um, offensive rebounds. So that's, you know, one of the things that we talked about. We got, you know, we got 18 offensive rebounds. Um, but we only scored 15 points off those offensive rebounds. So, I mean, if you want to count getting steals and deflections, you can put it under getting second chance opportunities for an offensive rebound and also getting to the free throw line. And we did, you know, we just, you know, we missed six free throws, which is close to our average. But I felt like we got, we got opportunities, more opportunities on the offensive glass, but we just weren't able to generate anything in terms of steals and deflections in the full court. Take a couple more. Hubert, you, when you leave out of here, it's, it's four games left in the regular season now yeah. for you guys. Is, is the feeling there that time's running out? Well, no. <laughs> no, not at all. Um, I, you know, after the game, I told the team that, you know, I've been there before, you know, being in the NBA and, you know, been in situations where um, you feel like your back is against the wall. And I told them that there's um, a long season ahead of us and that um, we didn't play well enough here to win, but I was really proud of the effort from all the guys that played. And I was really proud of them in that uh, we have to continue to stay the course and continue to compete and continue to fight. And I'm very hopeful and confident that um, the things that we're talking about and the things that we're working on, it is gonna result and something positive in terms of wins. I just, I just do. Um, you know, uh, it says in uh, I think Hebrews eleven one, faith is being sure of what you hope for and certain of what you don't see. That's what I have in this team. I have a faith that I'm being sure of what I hope for and certain what I don't see, and so that's what I feel about this team. And I am, even though I'm disappointed that we didn't win tonight and that we have four games left in the regular season, I'm very confident and very hopeful and very proud of the group of guys that I coach and that, um, that we'll continue to get better and um, good things will happen to this team. Given where you guys <clears throat> stand right now, is, is it more of a challenge to get the message through to them? because? They can't block out all the noise, and they understand where you guys are at this point, and now with four, three straight losses, I guess. Yeah, you know, um, five out of six. Well, you can't block out all the noise. <clears throat> you can't. <laughs> I wouldn't say that you, you can't. I, I think you can. Um, and I think, You know, you guys stated it. We have four games left in our regular season. So, um, other than that, there really isn't any other noise other than we play Notre Dame and Virginia and Florida State and Duke. And so, um, got a great opportunity uh, to play against some unbelievable teams. And as I said before, I'm hopeful and confident and excited about the challenge. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Yeah.